Greetings hobbyists, this is Arsans of all, and I know a bit unusual for me to be posting on a Wednesday, I normally post on a Monday and a Friday, but I wanted to try something a little different, and this came out from a conversation that I was having with someone who was looking for a little bit of help with a project they were working on. So they were working on creating a hand and a half sword, also known as a bastard sword, and they were having a bit of an issue because they'd created it using a lot of different components and they were trying to boolean these components together. And obviously I went through and helped them, but I issued them a bit of a challenge and I thought I'd issue the same challenge to you. Obviously you can totally choose whether or not to participate in this, it's only a bit of fun, but it's a really good learning exercise to try and challenge yourself into new things and sort of think your way through Blender and potentially do some research or some trial and error into things that you don't know. So here's the challenge. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to design this sword. And the challenging part is you are not allowed to use booleans. You can only use the functions that are native to Blender, no add-ons, no booleans either. You shouldn't even need to use a modifier within this. You can just create it. Though I will say I did use a mirror modifier at points just to speed things up. Now, if you don't want to take part, that's fine. You know what I'm going to be designing on Friday. I'm going to be creating this sword, not using booleans. But should you want to, here's the details to try and get. I'm going to start at the tip and work my way down. And I know the person that I was helping out with the booleans is going to try this out anyway. So, we have got a sword that has a diamond cross section for its blade, so it is a diamond shape. It has got a rounded tip to it, or a slightly leaf shaped tip, though obviously it doesn't go out, it just rounds in at the end. It has got a fuller going the majority of the blade down, but not towards the tip, that again is nice and rounded and curves out. We've got a hilt that's got a bit of an interesting design to it. Uh, obviously have a look at this, you can see what it looks like in terms of shape, you could choose to do something else, but either way it's a hilt. And then we've got our hand and a half grip that's got a pommel at the bottom with this flared out end that's rounded at the bottom, and importantly we've got this wrap, which is slightly exaggerated, but to show a leather fabric being wrapped around the handle, and that is our sword. So as I said, I'm going to be going through and reproducing this as close as I can. Obviously, it probably won't be perfectly identical. There'll be some slight differences in sizes, but you'll be able to see that on Friday so you can see how you did. Maybe you found a more efficient way of doing this than I did, in which case, awesome. Good on you, and I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Though I would ask, in the comments section, please do not give away any of the answers to this or the different techniques that you might choose to do it. Obviously, that would ruin this for other people, and that's not fair for them. So good luck, and I hope to see you on Friday.